Hi, Tim Muckert here, and in this video, I'm going to make a short JavaScript program that has a function that takes in a number, and then it outputs integers from 2 up to that number and tells whether each integer is prime or composite. All right, so let's pull up a text editor and let's get started. All right, so I am going to create a function and I'll call it prime or not, and we're going to take in some number. Okay, and let's go in here, we'll close up the function there, and we're going to have a variable i that we're going to increment, and let's actually start that at 1, and um, <clears throat> then we'll say while i is less than this number, we're going to do something, okay, and let's close up the while loop there, and at the end of the while loop, Let's make sure that we increment i by 1 each time so we don't end up with an infinite loop. That would be bad. Okay, and uh, we're also in this while loop. We're going to have a variable j, and that's going to equal i plus 1. And we're also going to have a variable prime, which is going to equal true initially. Okay, so then we're going to go through a for loop. And we're going to say for, and then we'll have this other variable, let, uh, let k equal 2. And we'll say as long as k is less than j, and we'll increment k each time. And we'll have a little function here, okay, or a little loop there. And uh, we're going to go through, and we're going to say if j, j uh, modulo k, if that is equal to 0, meaning when you divide j by k, if there is no remainder or the remainder is 0, uh, and um, that j is not equal to k, so those two conditions, um, which should be kind of defined anyways, but let's, let's do it that way. Uh, we're going to say that prime is now equal to false because this is uh, a number that meaning, well, the number is divisible by some other number than one in itself, so it has to be a composite number, okay? And let's just break out of the for loop at that point. Okay, all right. Uh, so now that we're going through that, um, once we're out of the for loop, we're gonna say if prime, meaning if this prime variable is true, well, what we're going to do is we are going to console.log. Um, first off, we'll start with the variable j, and then we'll concatenate on something like is a prime number, okay? And then we'll uh, close that. Otherwise, so if prime is false, meaning it is a composite number, we're also going to console.log j plus, uh, and then we'll concatenate something like is a composite number. Okay, and then we'll close that out. And we have to finally then call the function. So we're going to say prime or not. And let's pass in 10. And let's save that. And let's open a terminal and run this. Okay, so uh, to run this, since I have Node.js installed, I can just type Node uh, and then prime, the name of the JavaScript file, file, so prime or composite.js, and it's going to run through, and you see 2 is a prime number, 3 is a prime number, 4 is a composite number, 5 is prime, 6 is composite, 7 is a prime number, 8 is composite, 9 is composite, and 10 is composite, because 10 can be, for instance, 10 can be divided by some other number besides 1 in itself and have a remainder equal to 0. Okay, so uh, we can finally... Then test this also, do a few more numbers, go up to 100. Uh, so let's bring up a terminal so you can see this a little bit better. Let me clear this out. And I'm just going to type node prime or composite.js. And we'll run through, and we've got all these numbers. Let's see, 53 is a prime number, 41 is a prime number, so on and so forth. So we know that the uh, JavaScript program is working correctly and doing what it's supposed to be doing. 
If you found this video uh, helpful, please like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications as it really helps the channel grow and continues to help me motivate to make more videos like this. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.